side with Hustlin. Thank you very much, guys. Always exciting to see how these series unfolds, and I'm, I'm just blown away. You guys keep winning games. Uh, and before we get into the games themselves, or looking at those games specifically, uh, the support meta seems like it's been changing a lot. And I'm really curious what you prefer to play, if you're liking this more uh, kind of Nami karma kind of situation, or if you want to get back to the Nautilus, which we saw you run in those early weeks, are you OK kind of just adapting to the meta? I mean, you kind of have to adapt to the meta, but I mean, I would prefer to be like the sport that's in, in, the, in the situation, like making the situation happy, making the engages. But I think this meta is fine too, but I would prefer like Nautilus, Alistar, Brom, stuff like this only. <laughs> if you go in and just, just fight. Hey, man, I, I like that. I like that. The aggressive kind of engaged <laughs> yeah. supports coming yeah, out. Yeah. Um, I mean, looking at the other half of your bot lane, Sonstar, a guy that seemed like he was struggling a bit in the early season, but you guys, as a team, seem to improve so much. What's it like uh, playing with him? Uh, playing with Sonstar? Yeah. I think it's, he's really smart, and I know he got like a lot of hate at start, but he's really, really good, and I think it's showing now, and we were just, um, I don't know, like, at start of the split, we had some unlucky games, and I actually think we played good, mm -hmm. but we fucked up. We, we misplayed, uh -huh. and we lost some games which we should won. And I think Sonsa is really good, and uh, he teaches me a, a lot of stuff on, uh, on the bot lane. I mean, it's good to hear. And as a team as a whole, you guys have been I mean, winning games nonstop, tearing through the league. Uh, one ones here, 2 0s there against teams like H2K now. Uh, how, is, how has your team improved so rapidly? Like, what's been the key to your success uh, since the start of the split looking forward? I mean, I think we have improved playing on the stage, but I always felt that we were going to be good. But, um, and then uh, on stage we kind of choked sometimes, but I always knew that we, we was this good, but we haven't showed it yet. And now it's, it's starting to actually show in the LCS games. Now that you've shown it, now that you're taking all these games, now that you're crushing all these teams, uh, there's been so many people that have doubted Giants on the way. How does it feel to like prove all of these people wrong and just start I, taking people out? I, it, it feels good to prove them wrong, but I always knew that this was what we was going to do and we were going to be uh, Playoffs team for sure. I always thought, and it's, yeah, it feels good to prove them wrong. But I always <laughs> knew it was going to happen. So, hey man, that's great to hear. Thanks so much for talking to me. Congrats yeah. again on your 2-0 you. for H2K. Uh, we're going to hand things back over to Pulse and Vedius to announce the player of the game from that crazy set. Cool. Thank you very much, Sifa. And it was uh, really interesting to hear that, that they were always confident. However, I know what you're going to say. I you was were always <laughs> a believer of Giants. <laughs> you were the 2%. From the very start of the weeks, I said, mm -hmm. Giants are the team you need to watch out for because they have a lot of potential. And now we're realizing that potential. And how, many, laughing now. how many teams have we said, oh, they have a lot of potential, but they don't end up turning it into anything? Yep. Well, Giants have gone and done it. Exactly. And that was a bold statement considering they were at the bottom of the league for like a while and then yeah, the rise of Giants, man. I was apparently told that uh, the collective term for Giants is a percussion of Giants, yeah. which I, would, I was very surprised about. But there we have it. So you're anyway, learning something new every single day. Let's get into our first day. replay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it was a two for zero around this uh, dragon area. And this was actually the, uh, one of the infernal drakes that happened earlier on. Maxlaw was able to secure it, but then Giants were forced to disengage. Hustlin had taken way too much damage, and it just meant that Giants were just pushed away from that objective. Yeah. So even though they got themselves the, the dragon, they just didn't feel like they could fight because of the amount of early game damage. And overall, their objective was the dragon. They were pretty happy with that. But it, this is the point at which I was a little bit worried for the team because it felt like that they weren't, they were too afraid to yeah. fight. But then that was proven completely wrong when later on in the game, mm -hmm. they suddenly fight so much more confidently. Yeah. And that is in our next replay, which happens to be at mid-game uh, for the 3 and 0 for Giants. But yeah, the, the goal was to get those Infernal Dragons. And this looks so risky, like going for Baron right in front of H2K, even he was 5 versus 3. And they and just juggle the, the aggro. Health bars. I mean, it was just so impressive, the fact that they were able to get away with that. There was a lot uh, of clench going on. Yeah, I know, right? There was, there was a lot of clench. They didn't get the Baron after that, mm -hmm. uh, but then they go back to base, and they go straight back to Baron. They secure yes. it with the Death Timers on top of Freeze and Yankos, mm -hmm. and then they then go for that final Baron fight, which is what enabled them to, to eventually close out the game, which is what our final replay will be. Wow, shocking. But uh, really, I think the game was decided 
if not here, from, from before that as well. Because like this kind of forced H2K out of the base after they already picked up Elder Dragon. And it was like, well, H2K, you either fight for this or you just get murdered regardless. Yep. And I mean, fighting into an Elder Dragon is not what you want anyway. Yeah. Um, but there were just, there were so many little things that could have gone well for H2K. For example, they landed the stun onto Knight. There was no immediate follow-up. All of their focus was down onto Huston and Smee Jane. That's why you can see all the carries. It's still actually very healthy from Giants. And then the missed ult from Odo, the poor play. Yanko's failing his cocoon right here. So he's completely out of range. Um, largely, he wanted to do it just to avoid the bomb. But then he gets double bombed anyway. <laughs> uh, and then with the secure, with no smite available, Giants get themselves the secure. Ryu goes down on the backside. And then they get the kill, the final kill onto Odo Omni to secure themselves the, the play. And overall, it was yep. just clean execution. They knew exactly how to play those fights, and it was just a very impressive play from Giants. I look forward to seeing them in the next... I mean, they've now played the top three teams in Europe, mm -hmm. and they went... I believe they went 2-0 against Fnatic, mm -hmm. from what I recall, because yep. that was their 4-0 week. Okay. They've gone 1-1 against G2, mm -hmm. and 2-0 against H2K. Their next biggest competition is Splice. Yep. I mean, yeah. that's crazy to <laughs> say, though. Like, coming into the start of the split, like, everything is just turned on its head and you're absolutely mental. But the big thing for me is the fact that we've been worrying about consistent teams. Mm. Giants seems to be right now one of our most consistent teams. Yeah, surprisingly, up against some of the best is absolutely nuts. And we do have one more thing to do before we head out here, and that's announce player of the game, who will be knight once again. And I don't think it could have gone to anyone more deserving, honestly. But having two player of the games in one set from this guy, really, really impressive. I mean, the, the Zillion was just very impressive from him. He consistently performed. His execution in both games was impressive. His use of the ultimates, I think Ryu can take some notes of because yep. they were always on point. Um, sometimes he did just use it to save his support where he could, but then he was just using that to buy time for his team to escape. Just overall... Impressive. I, yeah. I can't hype this guy up enough. was really excited to see him come over to Europe, and it's really nice to see him mm -hmm. doing so well. Everything has been coming up night and various as you've been behind him since the very start. So it's really cool to loop back on that one. It's just like, I knew from the very start that Knight would be the one to uh, come home and be a really big playmaker for the team. But uh, we are going to send it over to the stream very shortly. Shao Kat and Spice are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and they're currently 10 minutes in. But over on EU LCS 1.